Tonight, many South Plains veterans are reflecting on the trip of a lifetime, and we're looking back at their final day of the honor flight. In this report, KCBD News Channel 11's Case Wilbanks and photojournalist Eric Mitchell captured the special moments and the emotions still felt decades later. A morning stroll on the grounds of the National Museum of the United States Marine Corps begins the final day of the Texas South Plains Honor Flight. It's the third day spent in the nation's capital for these veterans. Right now, learning about the few, the proud, the Marines. Oh, how do you do that? Me, me, oh, me. Oh, oh. Like the so-called ugly angels in Vietnam. Well, the only ones left in 73 was the embassy guards. To the Korean War Memorial, five South Plains Honor Flight veterans march along the mural wall. Shailen Scrivener served in the Navy in 1951 aboard the USS Rochester at just 17 years old. The division officer said I, he thought that everyone above him thought I was the youngest first class in the Pacific Fleet. Reason four. While he's now sometimes taken to a wheelchair, he chose not to for this extraordinary moment. And he said you wanted to stand and walk in. Why did you want to do that? I had two cousins ashore at the same time. One made it home. And on this day, a chance to find his name along the wall of remembrance like Jake Montoya, who found a childhood friend, one of several, but the only one to not make it home. And what hurt me the most is his dad losing his son. That's why I wanted to come by. And nearby the memorial, these Korean military generals who have not forgotten the price of freedom think they're allies who fought for theirs. Walking across the National Mall emerges another wall carved into the ground and carved onto it more than 58,000 names. Myrie Walker says he placed this wreath for his friend, Carl Henley. I thought about him, you know, a lot because remember, remember him and how we used to play together. Whether one name or many. The day I got shot, the guy in front of me and the four behind me. They died right instantly. Each one tells a story, a story of bravery. You know, airplanes coming in and guys shooting over the top of our heads, we're shooting back at them. A story of faith. Fantastic individual, and that's why I've got his name, and I want to give this to his wife. A story of family. Right there. He was three years younger than me, and uh, he uh, followed me into the military. And uh, he always followed me. <laughs> he got you right there. And that was it. <laughs> Ron Smith will take the name of his brother, Lloyd, home. Uh, I'm glad he served his country, but uh, this is too much. Too many, too many bodies. So many, even after multiple trips to the wall, for Jim Alguer, he finds more fallen heroes. I'm so sad I just found another one of my guys that was in my platoon. But here, they're honored forever. Oh, it's so important because they'll never be forgotten. And that's the most important thing for me. Still, it's me very hard. Because I lost some good guys. Really good guys. But, guys that these South Plains veterans were able to remember. We just called him Jay. Remember their sacrifice. Got killed the first day he was over there. And sit beside again and find closure. Just to say, hey, I knew his family for a long time. It's okay. It's okay. And say goodbye. Now goodbye to D.C., but on the other side of a water cannon salute, friends, family, and grateful Americans await to give the South Plains Honor Flight a welcome home, oh. a welcome few ever received. Oh. Now you're making me do it. <laughs> it was so happy. Because I 
I didn't get that. Now an experience that's indescribable. This is worth all, all the just, just for this. I can't, I can't put it any other way. Texas South plays on a flight. 2023, you are dismissed. Dismissed to a nation free because of those who are brave. Case Wilbanks, KCBD News Channel 11.